Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was thinking about the man at the pool of Bethesda. He was what the Bible referred to as an impotent man, which means he was weak, sickly, the whole nine yards. Now, he was not able to stand on his own strength. He wasn't able to stand on his own two feet because his body was too weak to carry his own weight. Some of us go through life like that. We can't really carry our own weight. But let me tell you this. He saw Jesus. Jesus asked him one question, and I ask you, will thou be made whole? Now, you could act like the man at the pool of Bethesda. You know what he did? And I'm going to improvise and ad-lib the way we would do today. Well, you know, I tried to go to college and nobody would give me a scholarship. And I tried to get tutors and nobody would. And then I went to the doctor and the doctor gave me medication and, and worse came to worse. And this medication set up that side effect and then the other side effect. And I got worse and worse. And, and, and I'm on a cane and I'm almost in a wheelchair. And I don't know what to do. I'm at my wit's end. I don't have any more money. I can't go to a therapist and I'm all chewed up inside because I was abused when I was a kid and I've just been broke all my life, broke, busted and disgusted, blah, 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 blah. You know what Jesus did? He said, rise up, be healed. Now, take your bed home and walk, carry that baby. Now, before you couldn't carry your own weight, now you're going to be able to carry your bed. That's how healed you're going to be. Now, I want to say to you, not only will you be able to catch up for lost time, but if you allow God to get in here and heal you, you'll be able to carry more, handle more, finesse more, manage more of your life. Life won't be such a pitfall. Life won't be such an, an insurmountable obstacle. No, you will be able to jump every hurdle that comes your way. Why? Because of the strength God will place in you through his healing. So I ask you, wilt thou be made whole? Or would thou rather be sick so that you have an excuse to complain, so that you have an excuse to whine? Because you see, some people like to whine so that no one else will need them for anything. They want to whine so they don't have to be responsible for anybody else. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they want to whine. So they don't have to be held responsible. Hmm. Think on that. Selah. So I ask you again. Do you really want it? Really? Really? Wilt thou be made whole?